What up YouTube, Tim Moose here. Since this month I'm doing my reviews for January films, here is my review for the 2007 spoof comedy epic movie. Now this film is of course directed by uh, Jason Freiberg and Aaron Zelser, same guys who gave us movies like Date Movie, uh, they also gave us um, Disaster Movie, they also some of the producers behind uh, the Scary Movie franchise. They get so much hate and all, but to be honest, their movies are more guilty pleasure than mine. They aren't great films or anything, but I really get kicked out watching some of them. And Epic Movie is probably my favorite film they've uh, done in my opinion. Uh, it's pretty much like a spoof of uh, you know films like Chronicles of Narnia, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Borat, Click, uh, X Men. Loads of uh, spoofs are in this. And you know you got these uh, you know four orphans. Uh, Played by uh, Cal Penn, Adam Campbell, Fawn Chambers, and John Mamez, who have like this, uh, you know, incredible adventure and a spoof of a uh, blockbuster fantasy, and uh, they also discover like a bizarre, uh, you know, chocolate factory. There's also a uh, a witch. Um, of course, this witch goes by the name of uh, the uh, white bitch instead of a witch, and she's of course played by Jennifer Coolidge. Uh, you know, you even have a uh, Chris Ben Glover as Willy Wonka. Of course, this movie got released about like two years after Charlie Chalk Factory got released. The Charlie, um, the factory scene is really crazy. I mean, what a really cool, um, like what a good use of the uh, of the Fergalicious song as well. That was a pretty good um one. You also had the late great uh, Fred Willard as uh, Aslo the Lion. I mean, Fred Willard was hilarious in this movie. You know, uh, you had loads of other um, interesting people, like you even had Karma Electra was in this. Uh, you had Hector uh, Jimenez, who plays uh, Mr. Tomness. There's like a really funny, uh, you know, Connie West um, scene, or, yeah, um, where um, he ends up saying, uh, and George Bush doesn't care about black people. Uh, that was, they pretty much spoofed that one. Uh, they also spoofed uh, other stuff. I mean, you literally got Cat Williams as the voice of a beaver. Uh, you even had uh, um, Kevin Hart, who uh, plays the character named um, Celis. Uh, you know, you got a spoof of uh, you know the likes of um, of the Da Vinci Code. That was a really cool um, to watch. Uh, you even had a, a funny um, Harry Potter spoof. And, and I mean, you even got uh, Hermione um, in this, who is actually pregnant. So there's that. Uh, you even got a funny stinks on a plane uh, scene. Uh, not to mention, you even got the always great Tony Cox, you know, from Disaster Movie and Bad Santa fame. Uh, he was really great in this. You even had uh, Daryl Hammond as Captain Jack Swallows, not Sparrows, Swallows. <laughs> Uh, you also got David, uh, the late great David Carradine. Uh, this movie, you know, it's it's a dumb film, but I used to always get. I even actually own this film on um, DVD. It's really funny. Uh, it's um, it's dumb. It does have some really uh, fun cameos too. Like you even had Lauren Conrad had a um, fun cameo on this. Uh. You even had um, a spoof of uh, Michael Jackson. Um, other spoof like spoofs. Um, you had uh, MTV Cribs being spoofed. Uh, Nacho Libre. Uh, the Borat scene is really um hilarious. Uh, you even had a Mission Impossible uh, three spoof. A Casino Royale sp um spoof. A Superman Returns spoof. I mean, yeah, when they go with the spoofs, they do pretty well. And I mean, come on, you also had Kamala Elijah as Mistake, who did, who, I mean, Kamala Elijah as Mistake, come on. Uh, yeah, this movie is, you know, I'm probably one of the rare few people who um, actually like this film. I mean, it has a 2% on Rotten Tomatoes, so not, uh, yeah, it does not really get much love. But it's more of a guilty pleasure of mine. Uh, there is some, like, there's even a funny Harry and Kumar uh, reference because, of course, uh, Cal Penn is best known for Harry and Kumar. So, uh, I, I kind of like how the uh, e um, evil witch uh, ends up, um, you know, show, saying, um, here is your white castle. 
then uh, Cal Pants uh, characters like uh, I think I White Castle. I think I've been there before. <laughs> that was a really uh, funny uh, throwback to Herod and Kumar. Uh, I mean, Jaffa Kulishu does not love Jaffa Kulishu. Come on, uh, you know, aka Stifler's mom. You know. Uh, Jamie Mays, of course, plays uh, Lucy. You might know Jamie Mays from uh, Glee, so it was pretty cool to see her in this. Uh, Adam Campbell, of course, he um, worked with the uh, directors in a date movie um, a year prior, so there's that. Uh, yeah, this movie is really hilarious. If you guys have never really seen Epic Movie, not really sure if you could find it. Not really sure if you could find it on Hulu or anywhere. But it's, you know, it's, um, not, I mean, obviously it's not a classic as a spoof movie such as, uh, I mean, back in the 80s and 70s, there was always some iconic spoof movies, whether you talk about, uh, Blazing Saddles, or even, um, Airplane, or maybe, uh, most notably, uh, Scary Movie, but, you know, Epic Movie is harmless, it's, I mean, it's not a great film, but it is really fun to watch, so, if you haven't seen Epic Movie, um, and these are your type of spoof films, give it a go. Anyway, let me lead you guys. Have you ever seen Epic Movie? If so, what's your thought of it? Were you a fan of it? Were you not a fan of it? What's some of your favorite parts in it? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This here is Tim Moves.